My name is Dale Vince. I'm the founder of Ecotricity. I grabbed the car in August because I was kind of getting bored of the seemingly endless delays. You know, just another month, just another month. And I thought, hell, I might as well get it here in Stroud and run around in it while this BMS thing was going on. We had a delay basically because Tim was working on his battery management system. I had the car longer than I thought it would, for sure, because I thought I'd have it a month. You know, it always was going to be a month and then uh, it was going to be another month. And for the past six months, probably at that point, it was going to be ready in another month and then another month kind of stuff. Um, and, and all of this was electronic holdups. Uh, but the car was drivable. And we went through the summer with me using the car while Tim was getting his stuff together, uh, I hoped. Um, got to October and, and he still wasn't there and I had to take the decision to um, find another way to get a BMS and an and a, you know, engine management system. Um, it was a difficult decision to make because Tim's a nice guy and I didn't want to you know, take it from him. You know, he's a very clever guy and uh, everybody was convinced, including Tim, that he could do it. Well, maybe he still could, I don't know, but he certainly couldn't do it in, you know, in the kind of time frame that we needed. When we started to look, we found these guys that they had it, they'd done it before. My name's Ryan Morn. With electric vehicles and where they currently are, there's not really a, such a thing as a standard battery management system. Everyone has to be custom to the vehicle installation. This particular car is a very high performance vehicle, um, so we've had to add some features to the battery management system that we, we wouldn't fit on other customers' vehicles. I'm Luke, I'm uh, the lead project engineer on, on the Nemesis. This is the battery management system, so essentially this, this um, allows you to manage the batteries throughout their life and also to um, have a fuel gauge type function to measure um, how far you've got left. The car has had the BMS fitted. It's now come back here. We've finished off the tailgate. So we've got two charging facilities on the car, one for the 13 amp domestic charging and one for a fast charge facility. Inside this flat, will be a socket and a plug and you'll remove a socket and then fit your fast charge, hopefully for an hour, at 125 amp feed, three phase, from the wind turbine or a three, you know, three phase supply at a race track or maybe in garages one day. started the next phase of, of work on the vehicle which we're near to completing now. In the, the centre um, here just above the energy storage system there's the central ECU and that's the one that controls the uh, actual vehicle as a whole and then coming forward there's uh, a dash ECU which as you can see the dash is off at the moment sits on the left hand side and this basically communicates with the, the display and it also takes inputs from both the um, throttle and also the, the gear selector. And essentially that system uh, is all, all tied in to a communications bus and it talks between each ECU. So basically we're just preparing to run it this morning um, out in the open, it's nice and dry, so we should see some testing. BMS has picked that difference up and is correcting it. So. Okay. Um, just checking the, the, the temperatures of the stacker as expected, which they are, which is good. I'll go home and get some sleep. Yeah. <laughs> it seems to be working, so I'm happy. <laughs> Right now, it's very exciting. We're going to have a series of track days, maybe two, maybe three at SNET, and we'll probably be there in the evening so we don't clash with other users of the track. We'll be testing the batteries and the motors flat out, uh, making sure that the controllers and coolers can keep the whole thing uh, you know, from combusting and stuff like that. And uh, when we've done that, we'll give it a paint job, cover the seats, probably last on the list, and that's it. That's what we're down to, just little things like that. And then it's out into the world with it.